Wow, so 91 days this week uh, really kind of screwed everyone over. You know, the way the plans were going, it looked like Gonzo was in for a treat with being the next Don, but uh, everyone seems to be getting fucked left and right here. I mean, the episode starts out with Angelo looking more broken and empty than ever before. He's not sleeping, he's just drinking, he's even seeing Cordio's ghosts. The man is beyond gone, and, you know, when Barbero is trying to tell Nero that, we you know, we should just kind of take him away on the sidelines, we can't truly trust him, he's like, I'm gonna give him a reason to live, he's just a shell, but I will give him something to live for, he's already regained our trust, he's cleared suspicion, he killed his friend, don't worry about it. And at first I'm like, okay, maybe they could twist it, like, maybe, honestly, Nero could give Angelo something to live for. And then to see what Angelo does with Gonzo, where he puts Gonzo's name on the letter as well, so Nero won't suspect him, and Angelo kind of just flips. He stops thinking logically and gets himself caught by Barbero who starts torturing him and then in doing so Gonzo has to kill him so then Angelo can escape to go kill Nero's father but instead of killing Nero's father he kills the other man with him which starts an entire chain of brutality and murder like he flipped the table he was just like you know what I don't care anymore everyone's dying I this episode was fantastic like it gives you chills while you're watching especially when the music's playing it's all silent and everyone's mowing down classic mafia style it gave me chills with just how powerful it was so well detailed and the animation itself was actually very highly detailed 91 days has been a hit or miss with this animation but this episode was really damn good it felt polished it felt real it felt gritty and brutal you know angelo getting stabbed everything about it, the facial expressions really came to life and seeing Nero at the end after holding his father dying, you can see that he is no longer running to save Angelo or to stop Angelo. He's ready to put a bullet in Angelo. But after the credits, Angelo's sitting in an alleyway by himself and one of the guys from the other side, I forget his name, he's standing over him. So it's like, what the hell is going to happen next week? I just... <sighs> I like Angelo and I like Nero and it, in a perfect world we'd have these guys you know shake hands and you know put the past in the past but it's not gonna happen like after seeing this episode there's no happy ending in sight for any side I feel like everyone's gonna die there's gonna be nothing left on either side Angelo is a sick cold motherfucker and this it's, this episode is great honestly it was it had me on the edge of my seat I'm not gonna lie it had me on the edge of my seat watching this take place how everything was executed and you know seeing how well they detailed a broken man like this was very damn fun to watch it was sad in a lot of ways but it was fun to see such a broken character act like this you know this was brutal like one episode left i'm kind of sad in a lot of ways i mean this this series has been paced very well in all honesty a lot of series you know when they're running one core an original story not based on any source material, the pacing can be all over the place. I feel like 91 Days has the perfect pacing. It never feels like it was dragged out. Like, even that one week when we went to that comedy episode, it felt right. Everything about this feels like it's wrapping up at a perfect pace. One episode to go, and I mean... I think in all honesty, this goes to show why anime original content can be so damn good when you're not basing it off the source material because you can get so much originality to it. And though this story itself isn't anything different from other stories in different mediums, it's nice to see anime take a more serious tone like this and not hold back. And I'm really digging it for that, but next week uh, needs to come fast. I need to see how this wraps up. I need to see Nero's rage and what takes fruition with that because this was a damn good episode. The OST really lent itself to make this episode stand out even more like what do you think is gonna happen next week besides just everyone getting killed and revenge like do you see any twists waiting to happen let me know your thoughts in comments below what you thought of the episode and what do you think is gonna go down next week all i can think of is brutality and murder but let me know your thoughts in comments below as always hit that like button to show your support and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content like this and so much more so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one